down and throw the interception on your very first play. And this is where the coaching staff has to earn its money because they've got to calm these guys down a little bit. Just as you noted, a horrendous start both sides of the ball. But now the defense, which gave up an opening drive touchdown, they've got to go out there now and start playing like the team they want to be. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Alert, 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 alert. 36, 36. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Alert, 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 alert. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Now Trubisky on third and long. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle, doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities, and we just saw it there. Control the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Then our statistician, Ben Ramsar, just held up three fingers to remind me he now has three tackles for a loss rolling in the first quarter. Well, Ben's got it detailed perfectly. He always gives us the right stats. I'd love to be on the offense's headset right now because what you're hearing is, can someone please block him? Come up with a scheme. Come up with something. Make sure you block him because he's disrupting everything. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Switch it, switch it, switch it, switch it. Here's Trubisky to throw. That's complete to the tight end, Bronicker. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. First down. First and goal at the nine-yard line. Move, move, move. You can't block me. Block me. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Move, move, move. Watch the ship. Hey, watch the ship. Watch the ship. Whip, whip. 22 jet bombers. 22 jet bombers. On second down now, it's Cohen. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. 
Hey, Team Six. Team Six. Bring it. <laughs> On third and goal, Trubisky. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the lead moves to 10-zip. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away, maybe that's the way they should look at it. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint, down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Escaping the pressure, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. On second down, Cook. A good pick up there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. I remember the first time I saw Dalvin Cook play in college. I was watching him on TV, called a scouting friend of mine and said, who is this guy? He's special. And he said, dude, you watched a home run hitter on the field. Yeah, he was special in Tallahassee. Left Florida State, their all-time leader in rushing yards and touchdowns. The Vikings first down. Diggs able to find his way free and get the catch from Cousins. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. All right, coming up at intermission. Charles, you want to wait to enhance your Saturday? I certainly do. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coach, who is standing by Orlando. He'll be alongside and have to take us through the weekend in the NFL. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Here's Cousins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. A great return there, bobbing and weaving his way for 31 yards. And it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and 10. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Tackle made that time by Anthony Barr. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Trey Waynes. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. First half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this drive? Well, I've been told by my coaches previously that the intelligent approach, go ahead and run out the clock and start over. Don't make any more mistakes. But there's also something to understanding that you've got this last drive here. You get the ball to start the second half. 
try and go two for one here. Get some points now and come out of the locker room and get more points again and get your momentum really built up. From the 22, here's second and eight. In your face. Cousins. And that gonna be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. On third down, Cousins flush to his right. Let's it fly for Thielen. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. A very good return there, giving it even 20 yards. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. They'll leave it for Cohen, complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Trubisky now, 6 of 10 in this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. Running with Montgomery from the pistol. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. He was true on his first. This is a tough one from 49 yards away. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. A nice little juke. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. they got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. It'll be a two-yard game, and it'll be third down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. To throw, Cousins. They shake him off. He can run for it, and he will. And he slides to avoid the hit. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. 
Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. Play fake, Cousins. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, don't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. 23 yards the pick up there. On first and ten, Cousins flushed out right. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Well, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. On second down, it's Cook. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Working out of the gun, Cousins eluding the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. They'll run on first down. It's Montgomery. Making the stop there, Daniil Hunter. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. From the 44, Trubisky into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Anthony Barr. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And the lead down to three at 13-10. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Six, six, pull it hot. Hey, ball, 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 ball. Again, it's Cohen. 
And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Back now at Soldier Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Lock in, lock in. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Everson Griffin on the sack, taken in the fourth round back in 2010. What a steal. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A gain of 32 that time. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. Kirk Cousins last year started all 16 games, but only led the Vikes to just one fourth quarter comeback like he's trying to do here. Escaping the pressure right. It's hauled in by Doxon. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. On second down now, it's Cook. Ha-ha, Clinton Dix, the former Packer, in on the tackle. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. They might they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. My well done. Now Cousins. And he's able to find Diggs. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 19. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Again, it's Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That To me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And Bailey able to knock it through. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Back now on EA Sports. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. All square now at 13-all as he sends this one away. This will be taken short. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. 
Here's Trubisky. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Spons! 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 No, no, no! Check! 55 to Mike! Now it's Trubisky. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Fourth down now, and defensively, Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over-exuberant, over-excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. And that will hit and continue on out of bounds. That hurts. If it was running into the kicker, it wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards for 15. And in this case, that's a big play. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Trubisky to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Harris. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, let's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it. He's got a man complete. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Charles, you talk so much about quick change plays. There's one right there. You get the turnover, and boom, hit him with a big one. And defenses plan for this all the time. They work on it in practice. But in the middle of the game, when that quick change takes place, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Eddie Goldman gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. You draw Parker. Now Cousins. Flush to his right. It's complete to Diggs. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. And now they're going to get the timeout. A huge play. Has him in field goal range with a chance to win. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So it all comes down to the foot of Dan Bailey. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And his kick is through. It is good. Dan Bailey, the hero as time expires. And it'll be a fun time in the Twin Cities tonight. The Vikings win it. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for Minnesota... 
They're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll have another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Bears, they'll drop down to 1-3. and three, And they'll be off to Oakland next week for a date with the Raiders. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.